Hello and welcome to More Things. I'm Judy Trent and today I'm with four very special little ladies here. I've got Abby and Ellie and Kennedy and Maggie. And we are at one of my all-time favorite places in Schaumburg, Deerfield's Bakery. What's not to love, right? Now, do any of you girls like to bake? Yeah. You like yeah. to bake? Do you? Okay. Well, we're in for a treat because we have been invited for a little behind-the-scenes look, maybe a little cake decorating, right here at Deerfield's. So, girls, are we all set? Yeah. All right. Let's go in. Well, we are inside. We couldn't be more excited. Looking at the cakes, whoa. And I want <laughs> you to meet Jackie Schmidt. And Jackie, your family has owned this bakery right. for years. Right, yeah, five generations. So oh my gosh. it started back in 1886 in Weislach, Germany. And I am now the fifth generation. We've become known for our decorated cakes. We believe in celebrating everything that life has to offer. Uh -huh. So we have birthdays, anniversaries, showers, weddings, I communions, know. you name it, I we're know. celebrating. <laughs> I always come and get some seasonal things to go to you know, events and things like that. Um, and now, you're going to take us back to the kitchen. I am going to take you back to the kitchen. So uh, here in our Schomburg location, uh, we have both the cake department where we decorate all of our fun cakes and what we're going to do today. Uh, we also have a gluten-free baking department here Ooh, that's right. and uh, that was something that we started back in 2007 and uh, it's for anyone that uh, may have a gluten intolerance or uh, suffer from celiac mm -hmm. uh, gluten is a protein that's found in uh, wheat rye and barley and therefore we came up with some products that um, those that can't have that protein uh, can still enjoy sweets and uh, right. uh, have some cupcakes and uh, what cheesecake. What kind of flour do you use? Is it rice flour? So or, yeah, so or? there are there's a few alternatives. There's brown rice flour, there's almond flour, there's coconut flour, there's quinoa. So oh, wow. we've experimented and, and come up with some really great recipes uh, so everyone can enjoy sweets. Yeah. Is it a different taste or is it close? It's it's it's. I, I think in some cases it's better. Okay. So yeah, it is. Uh, I, you know, everyone has their own taste buds, yeah. but they're they're both sweet and delicious. And uh, so yeah. And you do the 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 um, gluten free baking right here. Correct. And the other baking is done at your bakery in Buffalo, in Buffalo Grove. Grove. Yes. Okay. So with gluten free baking, you have to be very sensitive to not having any cross contamination. Okay. So here in Schaumburg, we have a certified gluten free facility, and so all of our machinery and uh, the area is uh, flourless so okay. that there wouldn't be any contamination. Sure, that makes sense. So our Buffalo Grove location is where we bake everything else because it's a scratch kitchen. There's a lot of flour and butter and things uh, you know yeah, around that right. uh, would potentially uh, you know ca cause an allergen uh, with butter gluten free. Uh, no, no butter. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, butter is okay. fine. I just okay. I just mean all the ingredients all right. that go okay. into fun cakes and sweets. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. And now you're next to. Let's see. You you will be at September Fest, correct? We will be at September Fest. Yeah, yes, we will be in the parade. We're going to be passing out cookies. So right, everyone that's going to be there, you know, hopefully can can enjoy us and see our uh, new truck in the parade as well. Oh, so cool. we're really excited. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, for this area, our next big event is Halloween, correct? Yes. So yeah, we definitely yeah. like to celebrate anything that is exciting with spooky treats or, mm -hmm. uh, you know, fun uh, things for kids and families. So we certainly will yeah. have products out for Halloween, for Labor Day. Uh, so yes, I know. stay tuned. I know. Yes. This, this any holiday? We do any holiday and every holiday. Yes. Oh, isn't that exciting? Yep. Mm -hmm. No, I love these cookies. So They're right. wonderful. Yeah, when All we right. have good. So let's now, head to the kitchen. Get to work, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Come we're with me. Following you. All right. Sounds good. Well, we're back in the kitchen. I'm, I'm, I'm just so excited. I saw a whole lot of icing that that just <laughs> turned me right on. I want you to meet Caitlin, and she is. What did? She's our cake department manager okay. here in Chamber. All right. And so she's going to show you how to decorate cakes with Hillary and Gia. Yeah. Here as well. And she's going to take over the lead from this point on because I know nothing. 
Okay, so our first cake that we have here is just kind of the beginning process of a Noah's Ark. So we built the base earlier, and then now Hillary's building the second part, which is our roof. Um, she's going to stack it together, and then we kind of crumb coat the whole thing so it sticks together, and then that way it's easier to ice and decorate later on. So she's working on that, and then back in the background, this is actually what this whole cake looks like when it's done. <gasps> wow. So all of these little figurines are all made out of gum paste, which is kind of like a dough. And then um, the cake itself is covered in buttercream, which is more like a paste. So if you want to look back here, she's also painting some of these butterflies. Oh and she's gosh. adding them. So all of our things are hand decorated, and most of them are handmade. So we do everything from start to finish. That's amazing. Now, how, how does it uh, go from that to... Um, do you have brown icing or does she spray it? How does that work? So I mean, how for a cake like this we dyed the buttercream brown but we could also use chocolate buttercream which is naturally oh, brown. Right. So if you wanted a chocolate cake then that would be the way to go with that. Otherwise we just dye the color of it brown and then we added some black into it to make it look like wood so we kind of mm -hmm. striped the bag which is just a tight uh, piping technique that we've used and then she used a stick to kind of make some grains in the wood and then the leaves have a little bit of texture to them too. And piping is what you what you use to do the that's with the bags right yes. and that's uh, say like in the top of a cake that has flowers that's how you make the flowers Correct. Is that right okay all right girls I expect you to be able to do that. <laughs> oh look Do you want to explain what Hillary is doing right now? So Hillary already stacked those pieces together and then now she's kind of carving it to give it some shape, which is why this one's got that V shape on the top roof. Uh -huh. So a lot of times, you know, we put things together and cakes really only come in like a square or round shape. So we spend a lot of time cutting them to make them look like everything from an arc to an elephant or a dress or a graduation cap. So she has to be a sculptress too. Yeah. Yeah. All of our decorators are considered artists. They are. Absolutely. I agree. Mm -hmm. Wow. Because they do everything from sculpting, and then we've got almost clay sculpting for these. Clay figures. sculpting. Yeah, because these figures, they're all kind of like a clay model. Oh. That's basically what it is. It's oh, all clay. Oh, gosh. You know, I actually thought that those were plastic. Nope, oh, those are handmade. In, whoa. Now I'm even more impressed. Dresses made out real plastic. So all the dresses that we did, those ones are plastic pieces that okay. we had a customer bring in. Um, but we've also done styrofoam where we draw the character on styrofoam just like these are, and then we would add them to the cake. What about Olaf? He's plastic too. Um, <laughs> what are these like icicle like supposed to be like icicle like, things made out of? Those are rock, rock candy. candy. Rock yeah. candy. Oh, yeah, that's okay. what I thought. Yeah, just rock like these pillars like back here, those are all rock candy. Is, is this carved cake in here? No, that's um, actually just an ice cream cone on top and then we have hollow pillars because if we used an actual cake, it'd be really heavy and it would fall over. So the turquoise that you see is buttercream, but then these white ribbons as well as this ribbon on top, that's all fondant work. And does, does, is it always shiny? 
or do you have to um find it when it's in the cooler so it's kind of a weird medium because if it's in the cooler in the summer it gets shiny because of the condensation and the humidity okay. but say in the winter it may not get very shiny just because it's very dry you know in chicago so it just depends on the season really mm, to okay. see what you're going to get out of fondant like okay. those fondant figurines those are all kind of hardened because we let them sit overnight and same with this bow we've let it harden so it's not going to be as shiny but when we put it on the cake right away because the cake's cold that's how we get that condensation and that's why it looks shiny i have a question yep is all the white stuff edible it is but it's really hard so it's kind of like if you were going to eat like a, like a rock cold. candy yeah Hmm. So on Noah's Ark, those little figures that I thought were plastic, mm -hmm. and you said they were clay. Is yeah. that fondant? Yes. Is the, so fondant is like a clay. Yes. Okay. But All right. Yeah, it's like that. a pliable clay. I've seen the cake boss talk about. It. Yeah. So it's technically edible, but when it dries out, it's it dries like a rock. So you really couldn't eat it. Okay. Um, but. It wouldn't yeah, so, hurt you if you licked it. So no it. biting the giraffe. <laughs> no, you probably wouldn't want to bite the giraffe. It's like. All right, well. All right, girls, you ready to decorate some cakes? I see your cakes. Woo! Yeah. Let's go. Okay, so next I'm gonna let you guys decorate your own cakes. Um, I'll show you how to hold a bag. So all of our bags, because we decorate so many cakes, we have our flower bags and we also have bubble bags or drawing bags because we literally are just producing cakes so often. If we had to fill a bag every 10 minutes, we wouldn't ever finish anything. So there's a couple different things you can do. This is a shell border or a bubble border. And typically we do that on the bottom of the cake. And then we also do a rope border on the top or a ribbon border. And this is a typical Deerfields border that goes on top of your cake. So this one goes on the bottom and this one goes on the top. Then we also can do some flowers. Mm -hmm. She's got all nozzles in there. So I'll show you guys how to make a rose. This is like the most difficult flower, I think, to make. But it's probably been on one of your birthday cakes at one point. So that's a rose. You make it on a stick. Yeah, we make ours on a stick just because they kind of have like a more three-dimensional shape. But if you see on the TV shows, a lot of times they do it on something that's called a nail, so it has a flat top on the top. Oh. And then they build it up from there. Oh, I see. And then you guys can also do daisies, which are pretty easy, and that's just like this. Oops, wait, let Ellie see. <laughs> And then you would put a dot in the middle. So that's a daisy that flower. Cute. <laughs> all right, so if you guys all want to grab a bag, you guys can start to decorate your own cakes. How do you make a balloon? A balloon? <laughs> just in Actually, case anyone really wants easy. to make a balloon. <laughs> so a balloon, you just grab it. And what I suggest that you guys do is don't grab as much, because there is a lot of frosting in the bag, but kind of hold what only your hand can hold. So I know I have a little bit bigger hands than you guys, but I usually just lay it in here like this. So if you hold your hand out flat, and then you put the tip towards your pinky. So hard. I'll show you. This one goes this way. Are you a righty or a lefty? A right. So put it in your right hand. Oh, right. And then yes, only I hold what your hand can hold, so, so you don't have to squeeze too much. Oh, if you're a righty, then put it in your right hand. And then, yeah, in your right hand. Oh. So the tip goes towards your pinky. There you go. And then yeah, you're going to just squeeze a little bit out, and a balloon is just heavy at the top, and then you oh, let go. Oh, that's cool, yeah. So if you guys want to do whatever you want to do, these cakes are yours to take home, so. Make a plan in your head. <laughs> do you want this closer? <laughs> Not really now. So scary. I don't want to mess this cake up. I know. I think I'm the first one to touch the cake. <laughs> oh, you're going to make a scalloped edge. <laughs> I messed up. No, you didn't. You're fine. That's for fixing anyway. I'm just going to eat the parts I messed up. <laughs> Should we have one of our decorators show you how fast we decorate a, like a, a standard occasion cake? Yeah! So do one of you guys want to decorate a standard occasion cake? I got an extra one. Hillary? <laughs> okay, rest your hand for a minute. She's going to show us how... Alright, so she's going to show you how fast we do our cakes here. 
I don't care okay. if you want to do balloons or flowers. Hang on. Oh. Let's see. Let's watch her. So we normally do like she was saying, the scalloped edge on top, and the cake's always set like counter like this, and you go one at a time. Excuse me one second. And then when we do the bottom. Sorry. Oh, I forgot you could do the bottom. <gasps> well, they are artists for sure. You're right. You want to write on it? <laughs> oh, she's going to write. <laughs> Let's it. see. Oh, nice. Thank you. <laughs> so that's how we end up doing, you know, 20 or 30 of those. And that's a good out. <laughs> yeah. I might need to make my... Yeah, is it, does it... Is it pretty hard to push? I mean, like, do you have to have a pretty strong hand? <laughs> um, it definitely is difficult at first, and I guess you don't even realize, because after you decorate for so long, you don't realize mm -hmm. until someone new comes in and they're like, yeah. oh my goodness. Cramping. But, <laughs> yeah, and you can tell in the seasons, like for right now, since it's summer, the buttercream is a lot softer. Okay. So it's kind of nice oh, because yeah. then you don't have in to worry. In the winter time, you... <laughs> yeah, in the winter, it's... Sometimes it's really, really hard. Yeah. Back. yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh. Oh, you can do yours around the edge, outside edge. Good. Mine is like Frosty's messed up and goes around, and then it cuts. This is gonna be very good. <laughs> Whoa, that's good. Hey, that's good, Ellie. Yeah, turn, you can turn your cane. Yeah, that's a good idea. <gasps> Keep some cane. Still no. going. It's a good flower. Let's see if it'll be easier to start start up here like and go that way. Because you're right handed. Oh, that looks nice. How are we doing? Nice. Because if you put one like in each, each, that's nice, Manny. Itty bitty string. Um, An itty bitty string. Go ask 
Yeah, <laughs> you show her. <laughs> so for that, we would use a paper bag. So we make probably 100 of these a day. And this is how we make our writing bags, and this is also how we make a bag for a string for a balloon. Oh. I didn't see this. Did you see all these containers of icing down here? All the different colors? No. So we no. have a lot of pre-made colors down here just because that way we don't have to keep mixing colors, but we do make a lot of colors every week. And they're all buttercream, right? They're mm -hmm. not different flavors. Nope, that's like all regular cream. buttercream. What color is that? This is gray, so this is usually what we use. We either use gray or we use black for a string. Mm -hmm. And I just hold the top of this so it doesn't come out back here. And then you squeeze it and it oh, makes a string. It's so easy. Oh. Yep. So That's cool. You gotta squeeze really hard. Yeah, because so, it's such a small opening, you have to squeeze really hard to get the stuff through. I'm bad at balloons. Very nice. Partially deflated. A little too curly. These are good. It is bad. So much around. <laughs> this looks good. You know what? They look like a balloon with a little string coming off. Is that what you were thinking of? Yeah. Well, you you got it. Abby is very careful. <laughs> Top is <bad. laughs> Oh, look, this is really a good flower. This one right here. Oh, wow. Yeah, those look great. Oh, those are nice. Those are like butterflies. Are they butterflies? I have no idea. Well, that's what I think. <laughs> they, they look like butterflies, so th you can say they are. <laughs> you can claim butterfly. <laughs> I know why I do. Is anybody going to try writing? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that might be a little hard. Does somebody have to wash these out every night? or how um, We wash them once a week, so we do wash them all by hand once a week. Yeah. Yeah, same with, you know, the colors. We wash them out every time they're empty. We wash the whole thing right. out. So when you close in, in the evening, do you put those in the refrigerator or? No, our buttercream is good to sit out. That's why the okay. buckets can sit out, just like the fudge, oh, so right, we don't have to worry right. about it. But yeah. like whipped cream, we do put that in the fridge, and then fillings, they all go in Boy. the fridge. Yeah. Hmm. These are getting highly decorated. <laughs> Not even on the top yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have a you have a patriotic cake, red, white, and blue. Are you going to do the American flag on the top? No. <laughs> that would be tricky. <laughs> Good. I like what you did with. Oh, I like what you did with your yellow. I mean, that That's okay. Sense. We can wipe it off. You know what? They look like carrots. It's too bad it's not carrot cake. Wouldn't that be good? 
Oh, wow. You've got a nice little thing going. Ten years from now, she's going to be our best decorator. <laughs> I like this. This looks like, like almost like a ruffle. This is just very cool. <laughs> I like this a lot. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Sorry. Oh, I got a little icing on my blouse. I don't know how I did that, but <laughs> that's all right. Yeah. Yeah, before you get in your car, you'll have to be like us and wash up to your elbows. <laughs> wow. Very elaborate. Are you thinking of uh, like making circles all the way down? Yeah. The, oh, you know something? I want to show you something on a piece. I'll sh can I? Can I um, have a piece of paper? <laughs> so I, I, I just want to uh, show Abby something because we did this on a cupcake one time. That was a lot of fun. Um, we made circles. with different colors. And remember, I don't know what I'm doing here, so. Where are they? Oh, they're all, yeah, I just wanna. No. You can see that I'm not, not gifted at this. <laughs> they have a, another color. <laughs> And purple. There you go. We did this um, with, um, what was it? We did it on cupcakes, so it had to be icing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, we took uh, a stick, and if you go like this, oh, that's cool. It makes it like tie dye. Ooh, I want to do that. But I got to finish all my colors. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Isn't it cool? That's so cool. Yeah. This is the one thing I know how to do. <laughs> I want to thank Jackie. Yeah. I want to thank Hillary and Caitlin and, and, Gina. and Gina for uh, helping us to decorate and showing us around the kitchen and all around the bakery. I've enjoyed it so much. I know they've enjoyed it. Yeah, thank you for and coming yeah, in. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you and decorating. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yes. So, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.